Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a what's in my diaper bag and a review on the Azaria brand diaper bag. I've been using this bag for a week and a half now. Um, I've been using it all day, every day. So I would be out of the Airbnb, Airbnb at eight o'clock in the morning and be back at eight or nine o'clock at night. I've been, I would wear this bag all day and it's our spring break. So I wanted to use this bag, test it out, come back and review it and show you guys how I have it packed, how it's held up, and what I think about it overall. So let's start, get started with the packing and then I'll review it in the end. So we'll start on the side here. Here I have a water bottle. Um, I love the Azaria brand side bottle pockets. They are so roomy. I can put a water bottle in here. I put my phone in there. You know, it can hold anything. It's so big, so spacious. And then on the other side, I also have another bottle of water. This one is for my toddler and it's super nice. And it's still like, it has a lot of room in there still. I can wiggle it around as you can see. It, it's super roomy. I really like that and enjoy these bottle pockets. Very nice. And then the front here, this front slip pocket. I really like this front pocket. It's so big and roomy. I'm just so surprised at how much space you get. And then there I just have my phone, lipsticks, and blotting sheets. And that's all I have in there right now, but I could totally put more in there. It's so generous and I love that because I consider this my mommy pocket. So I love how much room I get for my things. And my favorite thing is how discreet the um, magnetic closure is. There is a magnetic closure there and it kept everything in there really secure and it does stay shut for me. And I really, really enjoy that. And I like that when I had it on as a backpack, I could reach behind, grab my phone out or whatever I need and just be able to snap it back and not be afraid of losing anything. It's really nice, really sleek pocket. Every single time I look at this bag, I'm just like, ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's, it's just so pretty. And here at this side pocket, I just have my wallet. And in this side pocket, it goes just as tall as this front slip pocket here, and it goes all the way down just as long as this front slip pocket. And in there, all I have is my wallet. And you guys can see, I just have a little wallet right now and just size comparison to that pocket. So if you had a full size wallet, it would fit in there just fine. You just get so much room with this bag. That's all I have in there. And we'll move to the back. I do have um, the messenger strap attached. I do like to have all of the straps on. I do switch back and forth between the two, but I'm gonna take it off right now for purpose of this video in this back slip pocket it just acts as my catch-all pocket it's a really nice size as well and there all I have right now are some stickers but um, when we were waiting we went to Tokyo Disney and this was the bag that I used and when we were waiting in long lines and my kids asked for snacks and gave me like trash or random things to hold on to I just threw it in this pocket and that worked out really nicely. And the inside of the bag. This bag opens all the way around, very big, so it has a nice wide opening. I always love a bag that can do that, so I can see everything on the inside. Just clear shot of it. I really like the wide opening. So, I got the zipper open. <laughs> we'll start here with this leash. A really nice length. I do like that a lot. It's not too short, not too long. It's just the perfect length. And for me, I like to keep it hanging on the outside like that. I like to keep it out so I can just reach around, get my keys. I don't have to open the entire bag. So just a little suggestion there for you guys. You can always have it hanging out if you want. Okay. So we'll just start with the center. And there I have um, a medium-sized bumpkins 
travel case and this one I just have snacks. Oh, and also in the center here I have a little origami ball. Okay, we'll start with that front. In the front side of the bag there's a large mesh pocket and in there I just have spare change of clothes for my daughter and also a pair of socks. I could put that in a pouch and in the pocket, but I just decided to use, utilize that mesh pocket the way it is. And the two side pockets are what we're gonna go into next. The one on this side, I have a little toy that we found on a marketplace on the street. Tissues and hand sanitizer. And on the opposite side of this mesh pocket there, I have another pouch. This is a small size pouch from the Bumpkin Square Travel Cases. And in here, I have Tylenol, crayons. This thing right here is like utensils. There are notepads in there and stickers. Just stuff to keep them busy when we're in a restaurant. And that's all I have in those two side pockets. Um, I do want to mention that even with the inside pouches being packed, it does not make the side pockets tighter. So it's really nice that you can fill up the inside and it not take away um, from the outside. You can still fit. It's not tight. It's all still really roomy, which is really nice about the Azaria, Azaria brand. And in the back, you have a slip pocket. And in that slip pocket, I have the large pumpkins case, and this has my diaper needs. So I have um, disposable changing pad, four pull-ups, in the back are wipes, those little baggies. I slid that down in there. You could fit anything in that slip pocket. I just put my diapers in there, but it also has a hidden magnetic closure, so this stays shut. And that pocket is really nice. I enjoy that one a lot. And then this long zipper pocket in the back, I just keep random things in there. Um, I have my glasses, extra baggies, and a snack for myself. And that's all that's in that pocket. So that's everything that I have packed in it. This bag is really nice. It's faux leather. Um, I did wear this out for 10 days straight, you know, to amusement parks and just out exploring Tokyo. And the bag did get dirty when I was out, you know, with dirty little hands touching it. I did get it dirty. And all I had to do was grab a wipe or even just a napkin and I wiped it down and it wiped down clean, no problems at all. So it's really easy to clean. The inside is this really pretty nude colored lining and it wipes down easily as well you know I, I really don't have anything bad to say about this bag after using it for so long for like a full day there's nothing I can say about this bag that's horrible it's really great it's so beautiful it doesn't scream diaper bag and it has really great organization it kept me super organized really nice and the grab handle made it easy to grab quickly it's really nice the only thing is that here because the backpack straps three quarters of the way down is the faux leather and the rest of the way is um, the seat belt material this slider tends to loosen on its own it just keeps sliding up and down on its own but it's not that big of a deal because you just have to I'm trying to show you guys. All you have to do is slide it up onto the actual faux leather part of the backpack strap and it'll stay put. And so the first day or two that I got this, I had it down here and it kept sliding. But once I moved it onto the faux leather part, it stayed put. I didn't have any issues with it sliding around. It's really nice. I highly recommend it you know it's so beautiful so sleek really nice and it's I just love it so much and everything the name here super understated very nice um, 
and they have a lot of colors. I do have this one in gray, and they are releasing new colors pretty soon. Um, French blue and dusty rose. I'll try to insert a picture if I can. Um, so it's so pretty, very nice. If you guys were considering it, it it's a great one. It holds up really well, easy to clean. You know, I can even take it to Disney. It works out fine. So that is it, you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. And if you guys were considering getting one or hoping to shop the new colors, I would really love and appreciate it if you guys shopped with me. I will leave my affiliate link down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.